Hey everyone, I just did the Raspberry Pi 2 build with Google Home integration. Um, so we have a microphone for uh, voice activation. We have the LEDs for visual, um, so you can see what's going on, for example. Okay Google, what's the weather today? In West Seneca today, it'll be partly cloudy with a forecasted high of 81 and a low of 67. It's currently 79 and partly cloudy. So it works very, very well, actually. And I am actually SSH'd into um, this Raspberry Pi, which means I'm connected it to it by my computer so I can see what's going on in the background, basically. Um, so see, you could say, OK, Google, what is the square root of 241? Square root 241 is approximately 15.524. So it's working very well. Um, but the reason I wanted to make this video and show you guys is I own an Amazon Alexa as well. And um, I love it, it's great. Um, the only reason I wanted to upgrade to Google Home was because I wanted to be able to control YouTube with my voice as well, um, which Google Home can do fantastically. It'll actually even turn your TV on for you if you have a Chromecast and play YouTube on that. Um, so that's what I was looking to do. Um, but now that I have the Google Home and the Google Assistant installed on this Raspberry Pi, it's up and running and working great. I tried to download the Google Home app and connect to my cell phone and found out that that was real hard. So then I did some Googling and apparently um, Google doesn't have that uh, feature in their API yet. It should be coming soon, but it's not there yet. Uh, but since you cannot connect to the Google Home app on your phone, that means you cannot set your video preferences to be YouTube or your music preferences to be Pandora or Spotify or whatever you want, um, which basically gets rid of half of the usefulness of the Google Assistant. Because if I try to do something like, okay, Google, play me a song. Sorry, something went wrong. When you're ready, give it another try. It doesn't work. Or, okay, Google, search YouTube for cat videos. I heard, search YouTube for cat videos. Sorry, I can't play videos. I don't have a screen. See, um, but she does have a screen. If in the app, you can tell her to cast to your TV. Um, so I, w I made this video basically to say uh, the Amazon Echo Dot is a great product. Google Home is a better product. However, the do-it-yourself version of the Google Home is going to cost you about the same price as the Echo Dot. And in my opinion, the Echo Dot does a lot more for that price. So if you're going to spend the money to try to build yourself a Google Home, you might as well just buy yourself an Amazon Alexa. Um, but Google did say they are planning on adding that feature to the API shortly. So once that feature is added to the API, then yes, we're going to go ahead and spend $40 to make yourself a Google Home versus buying it for $160. Um, but until then... My money's still with the Amazon Echo Dot.